All right, welcome back. We are back at it again with the M8. And this time we're going to take a look at key commands. And the coolest, or one of the cooler parts of the M8, the selection mask. Um, you know, all cool stuff has masks. Think about Batman, Darth Vader, selection, masks, mask, masky mask. Um, okay, so the key commands will really trip you up at first on the M8 here, I think. Um, and also, so will this selection mask thing. And, you know, the manual is good, but it takes a little bit of, like, practical you know, using and maybe even getting your hands on it before it really, the muscle memory starts to kick in. Um, so let's take a look at this. And along the way, we're going to learn all sorts of cool stuff. There are probably three main ways that I use the selection mask on the song view here. I'll use it to move things around. I'll use it to edit the song. And I will also use it to clone uh, chains, which is pretty nifty. So let's take a look at moving things around and some of the initial key commands here. So if we hit edit here, it's kind of going to copy. It's it's definitely going to copy, but you're not going to get a message down here like if you went into this mask and hit that, you know, and then it says copied selection and you're like, oh, well, wow. um, so edit copies and then edit pastes as well. And if you hit edit an option, you can take away, right? So that functionality, that's going to be pretty much everywhere in the M8. If we go into our phrase here, we can hit edit. We can hit edit again. It's going to copy exactly that thing. Go into our chance command, same, same deal. In our chain, we could hit this, come down here, bada bing, bada boom. All right, so that's kind of your rudimentary copying and pasting. The selection mask makes it way cooler. So if we're going into so the selection mask mode here, we're going to hit select an option, right? And then we can make our selection long. We can make it tall. We can make it tall and long. We can do whatever we want, right? But once we're in this selection mask mode, we can do a different kind of copy here. We can hit option and it'll say copied selection. And then if we come down here and we hit select, edit, it's going to paste our chain, right? So this is kind of something to get into. Uh, this is an idea. Whatever you hit in the selection mode in order to like engage that, you're probably going to want to be holding shift or select. Um, so yeah, so let's take a look at that again. If we go into the selection mask mode and we let's take this big whole chunk here, just hit option. There it is for us, right? And then we can come down here. We can hit bam, shift, edit. And it's pasted. It's pasted, baby. It's right there. Okay, so that's kind of how you copy and paste in the selection mode. And it should also be noted that let's say if we come in here and we grab this uh, big piece of silence and then we come down here to 18 and we go, we can pop that in there and it'll just create that for us. Bow. So now we can spread things out, you know, like let's say we want to, you know, make something, you know, happen in between all these little bits. Very, very easy to do. Okay. So that's super cool. But now we've got all this junk down here and let's say we want to move it around or let's say we want to remove this, right? Bam. You just delete. Easy peasy, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so that's another way we can kind of copy, edit, adjust our timeline here. We can also do this cool thing if we go into the selection view here, or the selection mask, excuse me, and we can hit edit, and this little X is going to come up. And now we can move this up and down, our selection. And you'll notice that when I bumped into that bottom row there, it made space. It just nudged it down. So that's pretty interesting too. And so you can make this whole selection and then maybe, you know, bring it up here, bring it down there, do whatever you want with it. So that's how you can kind of move things around in the, uh, in the selection mask here, the selection view. I'm just going to interchangeably call it those things. Um, so like, you know, let's say, oh man, we wanted this to be, you know, real nice. Um, we could just 
cut that out, you know, and now it's a nice little grid again. Well, maybe not because we need these down here. Boop, boop, boop. And now we've got a nice little square, right? So that is how you kind of cut and chop and doodly do on the song view here with the selection mask. If any of that wasn't clear, I'm going to recommend that you pop a comment in the thing and say, what the heck? Because I've been trying to figure out how to phrase all this for quite some time. So now let's take a look at one other thing that you can do in the selection view on the song view here, right? So we can enter our selection view and then we can make it long, right? And then we can hit shift and edit here. And you're going to see that all of these values now watch closely are going to change to different values. But here, I might even just so you can see this. Here's how this sounds, right? It sounds like, you know, whatever. Okay. So let's select all this. And what it's going to do is, is it's going to clone them. So it's going to put exact copies of each of these chains onto new, the first new available chains. So bam, right? So now we've got all of these different chains and presto amazo they sound exactly the same um you know as these ones right down here that we cloned them from okay so what's really really nifty and awesome about this is is that now we have exact copies of these chains that we have down here so if we want to oh excuse me if we want to mess these up or create variations or you know like maybe extend them or put like four extra notes in there we can now do that and um, you know play around with them so it makes it really easy to you know sorry I should have actually done that first so you can clone in the chain and now they're truly going to be different things so yeah that's kind of how cloning works um cloning will work on you know things that are holding other things so chains phrases uh instruments um yeah so that's cloning very powerful um and let's take a look at a few more key commands right so now we're in the phrase view so we've got a couple new key commands here that are also very helpful. If we put a C4, a C4 right up there, and we put a C5 right down here, right? And then let's say we make this selection. Um, and then we hit shift and edit. It's going to interpolate values for us, which is pretty cool. So it's put every note in there um, at an even spacing um, between those two things. So that's a quick key command that is incredibly nifty and very helpful um, when, especially when you're doing break stuff. Um, yeah. Also, while you're in a selection mode here with these values, you can hit edit and you can move them all up, down, all around. Um, you will also notice though, like once I get to the bottom octave, it'll kind of bottom out everything. So now they're all C, you know? Um, which is also another really great and easy way of, you know, let's say you wanted to just make, um, a bunch of C5s in here instead of just going like da -da 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 which is kind of annoying. Um, you could potentially just come down here and click this and then go up like this, that, 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 and then go like that, bam. And then you can maybe go, bah, you know, boom move them all around um so yeah selection masks quite powerful if i do say so myself and you know um of course i just breezed over all of this functionality quite quickly here um so i would say go and try this stuff on your own you know practice with it uh play around um kind of like i did you know i i made a little jam here and then i made kind of just like uh, a visual aid 
box to kind of help me, you know, figure out like what exactly I was doing when I was, you know, doing all of this stuff, um, which I thought was very helpful indeed. You see how things only are pasted in incremental spots and they're only taken away in the selection that you take away as well, you know, so this is this is all pretty uh, important here. Oh, sorry. Um, that, that. So, yeah. Um, play around with this stuff and have some fun. And you know what? I'm going to let you guys know here at the end of the video that I've put a little link down in the bio. Um, I don't really think I'm like at the Patreon level or, or anything like that yet. But uh, if you click on that link and you feel like giving me a tip, um, that just goes right to my PayPal. Um, you know, a couple people had messaged me and said, you are set up a Patreon. You need to get this data. And, you know, I just don't think I'm there yet. Uh, but maybe someday I will be. But if you found this video and, you know, you thought it was really helpful or it got you on the right track uh, and you want to throw me, you know, like yeah, exactly $2 to buy more of these really cool stickers, that'd be tight. Um, and then I can put more stickers in the video. So, yeah, um, that's all for today. I hope you learned something and had some fun. Uh, see you later.